Problem 5-86. Solve for n. n to the third power equals 49. So we've got a number that's being cubed and we want to know when that number is cubed it's 49 so what is it going to be? Several approaches can be taken to solve this. The first thing we can look at here is just solving it by undoing our steps here. So if we were cubing n that means we could take the cube root, but if we do that to this side of the equation, we're also going to have to do it to this side. Now, the cube root of n cubed is going to leave us with an n there. Now, the harder part here is when we look at this side, because 49 is not a perfect cube. And we're looking for what number can we multiply times itself three times to get 49. So we can use the calculator, but before we do that, let's get an idea of where our answer should be. If I think about values like, let's say, 3 to the third power is going to end up being 27, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And if I said 4 to the third power, well, 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64 which means if we're trying to come up with 49, it's going to exist somewhere right in between these two values. So one way we can do this with our calculator is we could say, all right, let's go in and simply do the cube root of 49, which if we press math, and then we look at option number four, and we type in 49 in here and press enter, it's going to give us approximately 3.6593, so we just say approximately 3.66. Let's change this to approximately 3.66. Okay. Now we could also solve this using the graphing calculator, remember? If we take this original equation, n to the third equals 49, and we want to break it into a system of equations, we could look at this side, and then look at this side separately here as its own function. So we'd say y equals n to the third, and in this case we'll just use an x on the calculator. So that's really the same thing as saying y equals x to the third. And over here we'd say y equals 49. Let's go ahead and type those in there. We've got y equals x to the third power, math number three. And on the other side we got y equals 49. And because this is going to give us a horizontal line where all the y values are 49, we're going to have to adjust our window a little bit. Let's move it up or, you know, raise our maximum y value to, let's say, 55. That should allow us to get everything on there. And then let's graph it. And there's our cubic function there. And there is our y equals 49. Now remember the commands there to find the intersection, second, trace number five and we're going to do let's move it just a little closer there is only one intersection point so we shouldn't have an issue but enter 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 and you'll see here the intersection point when y is 49 which we already said it was 49 the x value has to be 3.6593057 which pretty much is the exact same thing that we got there so in this case, your x was approximately 3.66. Okay, but remember that's the same thing as our n here. So we'll say that is what our n is. That's just the second way to do it using the calculator. Uh, this is problem 5-86. Hopefully.